Where are you? Uh, trees. Trees. Mm-hmm. What kind of trees are they? Is it a forest? A forest of pine trees. Pine trees. Very good. What else do you see around you? I see. I'm looking down. Mm-hmm. A You're look, look, looking down on a waterfall. Very good. Tell me more. From the top of the pine trees. Mm -hmm. From the top of the pine trees. It's like I'm over it a little bit. Mm -hmm. you're, do you feel like you're stationary on top of that pine tree, or you feel like you can move? I feel like I'm over mm -hmm. the whole area pine trees, looking down on a waterfall. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you're perched on the pine trees or above them? Um, kind of like both, but mm -hmm. just above. Mm -hmm. So let's find out a little bit about yourself. Can you feel that you have a body in this place? No. Okay, which gives you total freedom to move and journey through this place. So I'd like for you now to take a look at what this place is. Let's go to either down or above and tell me what this place looks like from your perspective. I see. Mountains. I see mountains. Very good. Creeks on the bottom. Mm hmm. Creeks. I can't see anything else. Mm hmm. Can you get closer? Can you get closer to the ground, for example? Or are you still above? I'm still above. Mm hmm. Let's see how it is that you move. I want you to focus on the way that you move and you can observe. Let's find out how it is. For example, do you feel that you can just move on your own accord or is there something that's taking you as you move? I feel like I'm being taken. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's focus on that. Let's focus on what it is that's taking you. Use all of your senses. What do you feel is taking you? Mm-hmm. All right, so let's find out where it is that you actually live or reside. I'd like for you to close that scene like a book and open it again and let's find out where it is that you're from. Be there now. And tell me where you are. What do you see around you? I'm in the shed. I'm in the shed. Mm -hmm. In the woods. In the woods. Same area. Mm -hmm. I just I said I can't think of mm -hmm. Do you feel that you have a body in this shed? Yes. Mm -hmm. So let's focus on your body. Take a look at your feet. What do they look like? I have big feet. Mm-hmm, I have big feet. What do they look like? I just know they're big. Mm-hmm. What does your body feel like? It feels very heavy. Very heavy. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Like I've been in the shed working for a long time. You've been in the shed for a long time? Like at this shed, this particular shed. Mm hmm What do you feel that you look like? Very 
unkept. Very unkept. Mm-hmm. Not shaven. Not shaven. Very brute like. Mm-hmm. Very brute like. Mm-hmm. Do you feel male or female? Male. Male. Mm-hmm. And you say you feel very big? Yes. Mm-hmm. Are you wearing any clothes? I feel like I am. Mm-hmm. What kind of clothes do you imagine yourself wearing? Um, like clothes for the winter. For the winter? Like flannel or something. Mm-hmm. Very good. I have to use the restroom. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap your shoulder. And when I do, that will be your indication to open your eyes. And when I, when you open your eyes, you'll remain in this beautiful trance, be able to use it. And when you come back, you'll go even deeper, and everything will come to light much faster. Eyes open. And you'll notice that you'll start seeing the same images again. You'll see yourself back in that shed. And this time you'll be able to focus even more. So tell me what you see. I see... The outside of the shed. Mm -hmm. I see the outside of the shed. What does it look like? Um... It has like a clearing in front. Mm -hmm. um, it seems like shed has an awning mm -hmm. on top. Uh, it's still outside. What is it that you do in this place? Um, carpentry. Carpentry. Mm -hmm. uh, woodwork. Is this where you live or where you work? I think this seems like both. Mm-hmm. Like I'm really... How old do you feel there? Maybe 50. Mm-hmm. 60. You feel like older? I feel a little older, yeah. Mm-hmm. So let's get some more insight on yourself and what it is that you do there. How do you feel about the work that you do? I feel like it's never done. Never done? Mm-hmm. Do you work for others? No. Just for myself, my mm -hmm. family. Mm-hmm. So let's find out a little bit about your family. I want you to close that scene and see yourself, where you live, having a meal with your family. Okay. Open up that scene. Where are you? In the house. Mm hmm Look down at your plate. What are you eating? I can't tell. Mm. I... It's beans. Mm-hmm. Um, some greens or something. It's not really coming. Mm-hmm. Look around and see who's there with you. Who's eating with you? I have a vision of a friend, a good friend. A good friend, okay. So take a look at that person's eyes, the eyes of the window to the soul. Who comes to mind as you look? It's a funny friend. A friend? Funny friend. A friend and funny friend. Mm-hmm. He's goofy. Mm-hmm. And I feel like I'm more... I'm not goofy at all. Mm-hmm. You're a lot more serious? Yes. So, does this friend live with you? I don't... You no, know, he doesn't live with me. Mm-hmm. They don't live with me. They don't live with you. But they come around a lot. They, they come... Me. And come to visit you? A lot. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about having your friends come visit you? These goofy friends. 
I feel, I feel good. Mm -hmm. I feel like this, this friend takes me out of my obsession with work. Mm -hmm. You're saying you're obsessed with your work? It seems like it, yes. Mm -hmm. And you say it feels like it's never done. It feels like it's never done. Mm -hmm. Is it because you don't work fast enough, or is it too much to do? It feels like it's just my work, mm -hmm. what I do, my life. It's your life. Very good. Do you have any children? I want to say yes. Mm -hmm. So let's find the time in your life when you're with your children or with your child. See the scene now. Where are you? At a fair. At a fair. Mm hmm. And who's with you? I have Two kids. Mm hmm. Boys or girls? Oh, this one's a girl. Mm hmm. I'm holding my boy. Mm hmm. How, how old do you feel they are? I want to say my daughter is the young age, under 11. Mm hmm. My son is two. Mm hmm. Take a look at their eyes, the eyes of the window to the soul. See if you recognize your children and anybody that you know now. No. How does it feel to be with your children? Mm -hmm. Enjoy that feeling. Absorb it in to all of your cells. Feeling the love from your children. Knowing that you're loved. And what kind of relationship do you feel that you have with these children? I love them. Mm -hmm. Hold your son tight. Knowing that you are able to love him and get that love back. Now let's see if there's anything else significant in that scene. Is there anything else that's interesting there? No? All right, so let's close that scene. Um, people will just... Mm-hmm. Together. All right, close that scene, and let's now move to another important scene in your lifetime. When you're older and something very important is happening to you, tell me where you are. I'm working at this yard. What is it? It's like a, it's like a field. Mm -hmm. Are you working in the field? Uh, I think I'm more, I'm not working in the field. I'm more of an overseer. You're an overseer. <clears throat> Who do you see on the in the field? I see these. Young tree choppers, mm -hmm. and I feel it. They don't know how to work. Mm -hmm. Why work, is that? Work the way I do. Mm -hmm. the, the wood, actually, using your hands to chop down the tree <coughs> and to make something. From that. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that they're not chopping it properly for you to be able to work the wood? I feel like they're using machines mm -hmm. as their glory. 
And it's glory. And, and a sense of glory. And a sense of glory. I mean, how do you feel about that? Uh, uh, I feel this emptiness. Mm -hmm. Tell me what that emptiness is. Go deep within and let me know why you feel that empty feeling when you see that. They don't know what it's like. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. To appreciate nature. Mm -hmm. You feel that these young men don't appreciate nature? No. Mm -hmm. Tell me how you feel when you see these trees being chopped down. I feel helpless. Mm -hmm. Now you are a woodworker, are you not? Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. So you work with these trees that have been chopped down. Yes. How does that make you feel, knowing that these trees have sacrificed themselves for your job? Not in the way that I would like. Not in the way that I would like. How would you do it? Everything by hand. Everything by hand? Everything. Mm -hmm. Would you connect with that tree before you chopped it? If I knew how. Mm -hmm. I feel like I have a connection already, mm -hmm. just by me touching. Mm -hmm. What happens when you touch the wood? I, f I feel it. I, I, I understand. There's a cycle. There's a cycle? Yes. Mm -hmm. What is the cycle all about? Giving and taking. Mm -hmm. And I feel that these trees are being chopped down so fast that we're just taking, we're not giving. Mm -hmm. It's really sad. Mm -hmm. It's really sad. Is there anything else from this scene that's important? Just upset. Just upset at what they're doing. Mm-hmm. Very good. So let's close the scene. And now let's open the scene to another important day in your lifetime. Something that's impacted you. Be there now. Where are you? I want to say, say, my daughter is leaving somewhere. Mm -hmm. Your daughter is leaving? I don't know where. Mm -hmm. Sad. How are you feeling? Very sad. Mm -hmm. How old is your daughter? She's young 20s. Mm -hmm. So let's see what happens. Let's see where she's going. I feel like she's going to the city. Going to the city. Mm -hmm. What happens next? And I don't hear from her. For several years. You don't hear from her for several years? Yeah. Mm hmm. Why is that? I don't know. What does that do to you? It worries me, but I know that we all gotta grow. Mm -hmm. 
What is your daughter's name? What do you call her? Mm -hmm. What do they call you? You don't have a name. Very good. So let's now close that scene. And now let's go to another important scene in that same lifetime. Something important is happening. Where are you? Hospital. In the hospital. Mm -hmm. What's happening? I just... Just laying there. Just laying there? A couple... A few family just... Around the bed. Mm -hmm. How old do you feel there? Mm-hmm. What do you believe is the region reason why you're in the hospital bed? I don't know. I feel like I'm being monitored and watched. Mm-hmm. You're being monitored and watched? For Those health are, problems. For health problems. Mm -hmm. I don't. Do you have any issues with your body right now? Do you feel anything? I can't feel anything. Mm -hmm. Can't feel anything? All right. So I'd like for you to tr go ahead and take your last breath from that lifetime. And as you do, I'd like for you to think about your life as you leave it. Tell me what was the purpose of that lifetime? Love. Mm -hmm. And what lessons did you learn? Even though it seems hopeless, right? we all have a we all have a time of being here and appreciate. Mm -hmm. Even though it seems hopeless, we we have. Our time to be here mm -hmm. and appreciate mm -hmm. things. Yes. No matter how bad things can be. Mm -hmm. So, as you transition away from that body, tell me what it is that you see as you go along the way. Peace. Mm -hmm. Peace. Peace. Feels peaceful. Mm -hmm. Where do you go to? Space. What does this space look like? Just transparent. Mm-hmm. Look all around you. Tell me what you see around you. Some light. Mm-hmm. What color is this light? Lights up the space, so it's I don't think it's Can you go towards that light? Are you attracted to it? No. Mm -hmm. I just feel like it's the sun that's lighting up the space in the travel. Mm -hmm. How does your body feel as you travel? I feel okay. Mm -hmm. I feel like I left my body behind. Mm -hmm. So what kind of body do you have now as you're traveling? Does it look like anything? No. Mm -hmm. It just looks like it's just part of space. Mm -hmm. So let's travel. And let's see where it is that you go next. Allow yourself to, to, sim to see it. What happens next? I'm looking at stars. Looking at stars? Mm-hmm. What else is out there? 
I see a light in the distance. I see a light in the distance. Mm -hmm. so it's like a bright star. Like a bright star. Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you feel drawn to that star? Yes. Mm -hmm. so yes, I do. So let's go towards that star and let's see what it is. Why you're being drawn to it. All right, so I'm going to touch your shoulder. You'll open your eyes and you'll remain in this trance. When you come back, you'll be even deeper. Mm -hmm. You're doing great. Tell me what you're visualizing. What are you? The first impression I got was crystal. Mm -hmm. Crystal. Tell me about this crystal. What color is it? Shiny white bluish. Shiny white bluish? Mm hmm. Not as has no plane mm -hmm. like Earth. It just it goes like caverns, mm -hmm. crystal cavern crystals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you feel like you're in a different planet. Yes. Mm -hmm. So describe everything that you see around you. Salt. Salt. Describe it for me. What do you mean by that? It's more of a salt mm -hmm. ground area. Grainy. The ground is very green? Grainy. Grainy, okay. Grainy. Mm hmm. It's really no. It doesn't seem like any human. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. What else do you see there? A spaceship. A spaceship. Mm -hmm. What does a spaceship? It's just flying. But like, I don't see any base mm -hmm. or anything, but it's for like a spaceship or just taking samples. Spaceships are taking samples. Yeah. What shape are these spaceships in? Um, like an oblong oval shape. Oblong oval shape. What color are they? Metallic. I don't really know the color. Of the color is not really determined. They're just mm -hmm. metal, metal. Metal. You ships. could speak a little louder so I can hear you. Uh, like metal metal ships. Metal ships. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they're just flying, flying around. Mm -hmm. Not really, not really landing. Mm -hmm. Are you on the ground, watching I, this? I don't. I'm. It feels like I'm eye, a little lower than eye level. Mm -hmm. It feels like I'm hovering over this planet. Yes. So let's find out. If you have a body in this planet, let's focus on yourself now and see if perhaps you have a body. What do you look like? I don't. Do you feel like you have a body there? I feel like I'm not human. Not human. Mm -hmm. Like a germ. Like a germ? Yes. Mm -hmm. Like a uh, like free flowing germ. Mm -hmm. But you have consciousness, don't you? Yes. Mm -hmm. So, yes, what I is do. it that you're thinking about as you're watching this? I'm thinking about. A new home. Mm hmm. Is this your home, this place? 
this is where I'm from. Mm -hmm. But I feel the ships are taking samples and starting life mm -hmm. elsewhere. So how does that make you feel? Um, I don't... I know it's needed. I don't have any particular qualms against it. Mm -hmm. I know it's it's needed to grow. To grow. And evolve. Mm -hmm. So what is it that happens to you? I feel like I'm part of the samples mm -hmm. that so, are being taken everywhere. So let's find out what happens to you once you're taken as a sample. Where do you go? To this Earth-like planet is more green. Mm -hmm. Hardly any crystals. And the green is it's very, oh, it's very, it doesn't look like a tree that you would see here. Mm -hmm. It just looks like green. It's just green? Like green life or mm -hmm. something. I can't really picture it. I can't really, there's not a definition of what it is. It's just life. It's mm -hmm. green. There's no crystals like my other planet. Mm -hmm. Did you like those crystals? I was part of those crystals. Mm -hmm. So what is your... <clears throat> you were one of the crystals there? Yes. Mm -hmm. So what have they done now to you in this new planet? Experimental. Let's see how I react mm -hmm. on this planet. So what they do, what do they do to you? Where do they put you? Um, somewhere in the green on the planet. Mm-hmm. And so I don't feel their influence at all. Mm -hmm. I just feel like it's purely for experimentation. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about being used as an experiment? I don't have any objection to it. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's needed. Mm -hmm. So what is it that you do for this planet now? I feel I had What is your role? Balance. Mm -hmm. Yes. How does that feel? It feels like a big responsibility. A big responsibility. What are you supposed to be doing? As far as balance is concerned. Create structures. Create structures. Mm -hmm. Can you do that as a crystal? Yes. Mm -hmm. What do these structures look like? Very large. Large. Mm -hmm. What are they made out of? Limestone. Limestone. Like rock. Like rock. So you create these rocks? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is there any intelligence in these structures? There's intelligence. I feel like the planet is just one big being. One big being. Mm-hmm. 
Does this, en- this energy from this planet, does it feel more male or female? Um, does it have a gender? Or does it have both? feels more male. Mm-hmm. But it has both. It has both. So let's see what happens next. Let's close that scene and let's see what happens after these structures are created. What do you envision? Uh, Where are you? Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm done my job here. Mm -hmm. You've done your job? Created a city. Mm -hmm. With with the planet reaction. Mm -hmm. Planet's reaction. If like I'm able to build structures for these aliens to come back and to live. Mm-hmm. So that they planted you there to create life for them or create a city for them. Correct. Correct. Mm-hmm. And now you're done. I feel like it was experimental, mm-hmm. and it just became. City. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about creating this? Um, I don't really have any objectives. Or mm-hmm. It just is? It just is. Okay, good. So let's close that scene and let's see how you transition out of that planet. What happens next to you? Where do you go? Uh, What do you see? A window. What is it? A window. A window. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Tell me more. It's breezy. It seems like I'm on, at the beach or in the, in the ocean front. Mm-hmm. You're at the ocean front? Yes. Yes. Tell me more. I just feel peaceful. I feel at peace. At peace. Do you feel that you have a body in this place? Yes. Mm -hmm. Look down at your body and tell me what you look like. Female. Mm -hmm. Female. And... I feel... Very at peace. Very at peace. Look down at your body and tell me what you look like. What are your what are you wearing? Um I feel like I'm at home. Mm-hmm. Not really Um. Can you put your arms out and look at look at your hands? See what you look like. What color is your skin, for example? White. White. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What are your features like? Pale skin. Pale. Fair skin. Mm-hmm. What color is your hair? Red. Mm-hmm. How old do you feel there? Oh, um, about mid thirties, early thirties. Let's find out what you're doing in this place. I'm 
at home. I'm enjoying being at home. Mm -hmm. I don't think I have any children. Mm -hmm. um, very content. Very content. Where do you feel that you're living in this place? What country are you in? It feels like I'm in Malibu or something. Mm -hmm. in here. What year do you hear? Here. Um, fairly recent. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what happens to your life. <clears throat> I want you to close that scene and let's move ahead to a, something that impacts your life. See yourself there now. Car accident. Car accident. Mm -hmm. This is the first thing I got. Mm -hmm. So tell Some, me what happens. Something. What happens to your body? I feel like I'm injured. Mm -hmm. But I don't know where or how. Do you feel that you can move? Yes. Mm -hmm. So what happens after you have this car accident? Where do you go? Just freaking out. Mm -hmm. What happens next? Sorry, one more time to the rest of mm -hmm. Eyes open. No oh, more water. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's okay. You're releasing. You're doing perfectly fine. Go ahead and go to the bathroom. I will be fine. Feel yourself going back into that beautiful state. You tell me where you are now. Sitting down, mm -hmm. I hear, I see, there's probably, I feel like there's a, there's a, water, there's a body of water nearby. Oh. There's water nearby? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I feel like it has to do with the accident. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know. Let's find out. Let's find out what this body is is doing there. I feel a lot of trauma. Mm-hmm. I feel like there's just there's something going on. Mm-hmm. Let's find out what's going on. Allow the thoughts to come to tell you why you're there. Mm-hmm. You need help. I'm there to help. Are you there to help? Okay. What are you doing there? I feel like I'm... I feel like I'm calming people down or using mm. my skills. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what you're doing there. Do you feel that you have some sort of a a role there to play, an important role? I feel like I'm a Samaritan. You're what? A Samaritan. A good Samaritan. A bystander. A bystander. So let's see what it is that you do. Mm -hmm. What happened? I just know that I'm there to just mm -hmm. calm people down. Yes. And what is the disaster that's occurring that people are upset about? It seems like a car accident. 
A car accident. Mm-hmm. Tragedy. And tragedy. Mm -hmm. Can you get close to that accident? Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's get closer and find out what happened. Mm-hmm. I'm upset. Mm-hmm. Look inside that car. And tell me what you see. What's in that car? Do you recognize the person in that car? I don't know. I just know that it's some kind of tragedy. Some kind of tragedy. Mm -hmm. What do you look like? I am... I came outside. Not really dressed out. I'm just there to help. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Is there anything else in this scene that's important? Take a look. What's important about this scene? Anything else? No. What is it? No? Uh, no. Okay. So let's close that scene now. And let's move ahead in that lifetime to see what other things happened to you that were impactful. Choose another time and tell me where you are. Uh, a meeting? At a meeting? Mm hmm. Who's there with you? Um, co-workers. Mm -hmm. Nobody really I like to hang around with. Mm -hmm. What is it that you do? Toy developer. Mm -hmm. What kind of work do you do? Um, talking with children. Talking with children? I think so. Mm-hmm. What kind of work do you do with these children? Teaching. Mm-hmm. You're a teacher? I think so. Mm-hmm. Let's find out more. Mm -hmm. What do you teach? Math. Mm-hmm. You teach math. Very good. So let's see what's important about this. Do you have any connection with any of these children? Oh, maybe one. Mm -hmm. All right, let's take a look at that one. How do you feel about this child? This child is smart. Mm -hmm. Is it a boy or a girl? It's a boy. Mm -hmm. Look into his eyes and see if you recognize him in the life of Lottie. No. Very good. So now mm -hmm. let's continue. Let's find out what else happens in your life. Close that scene and go forward again to another important scene in your lifetime. Something that impacts Where are you? Uh, um, I'm outside. Mm -hmm. This is like rather apartment. 
spot. A what park? A what? Parking lot. A parking lot. Mm -hmm. I don't know. What happens in this parking lot? It's not very clear. Mm -hmm. I just thought it was this parking lot. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's close that scene. Let's move away from that scene. All of these will find peace. They'll find what they need to find. And now I'd like to speak with Lottie's higher self. Do I have permission to ask questions today? Yes, I do. Thank you very much. Would you tell me why you showed Lottie these lifetimes? The first one was the man with the big feet, with the children in the fair. Why did you show him that lifetime? He can see the life is very short. Yes. Mm hmm He was very emotional with his children. Mm hmm mm hmm Are these the same? Is this one of the same children that he has now? Yes. Mm hmm What about the little boy? He wants a boy. He wants a boy. Mm hmm Will it be the same child as before? No. Okay. Then you showed him one of him as a crystal being transported to a different planet. Yeah. Why did you show him that life? Life begins somewhere. Life begins somewhere. Is that answering a question that he's had? No. Mm -hmm. Why did you show it to him? We're all small specks. Mm -hmm. Does he feel small? Yes, mm -hmm. he does. What would you like to tell him about that? Small is... There's no such thing as small. Mm -hmm. Small is where he and he started off many years ago. There was a contest about 36 years ago, and the contest was the first one who would win would earn this prize. And he competed with millions of others to gain the ultimate prize. Yes. So, would you say that Lottie is like an Olympian in this life? Yes. Mm -hmm. Winning the prize of life? Mm hmm So does Lottie need to feel small in his life? He already does. Mm hmm So what would you like to tell him about that? It doesn't matter. He's still a champion, isn't he? Yes, he is. Mm hmm And he created a beautiful life also. Mm -hmm. That's no small task. He's got the ability to create life, just like that crystal did. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. So what would you like to tell him about this feeling insignificant and feeling small? And hold on to the feeling. Let it go. Does he need to carry around this anymore in his life, this baggage? No. Okay, very good. You showed him the life briefly of a woman in an accident. What was that all about? Things could happen so quickly. Things could happen so quickly. So what should he be thinking about in his life as he moves through life. The peace. Mm -hmm. Peace? Yes. Focus on the peace that he has? Yes. Okay, good. What's the meaning of Lottie's life here? What did he, came, what did he come here to do? Learn. 
to learn. What's he learning in this lifetime? Patience. Patience. How's he doing? Mm -hmm. Well, he seems to get angry many times. Why does he get angry so much? Not being understood. Not being understood? Yes. Mm -hmm. So is it that he's trying to change the world, but people don't understand him? Yes. Mm -hmm. Does he need to get mad about this? No. Mm -hmm. Could you tell him why? Everything's not meant to be understood. Mm -hmm. One of the things that he's learning about right now is the Mandela Effect. What does that have to do with his experiences here? What does he have to learn from that? It's all an illusion. It's all an illusion? Are you talking about life? Life is an illusion. Mm -hmm. So why was the Mandela Effect created? Is it actually a glitch or is it a wake-up tool? So wake up to them mm -hmm. that no matter how much we program ourselves to plan things out, mm -hmm. we're not the architect of that. Mm -hmm. Who is the architect of all of this? God is. Mm -hmm. Does God have a message today for Lottie? Mm -hmm. Let go. I mean, give thanks. And give thanks? Mm hmm. Good. How does he handle discrimination and being physically judged? He handles it. He does? Not. It's in comedy. In comedy? The comedy turns to tragedy mm -hmm. really quickly. So what would you like to tell him about that? Keep positive. Be happy. Even though it can change. Mm -hmm. Keep positive. And how does he keep positive and raise his vibration? Love. Mm -hmm. Use love as the factor? Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, when you're talking about love, I would think it's unconditional love, not with expectations. Am I right? Correct. Okay. Good. Now, Lottie came here with talents. Art, art, drawing, right. DJing, singing. Okay. How can he use his skills to help the planet? Don't stop. Mm -hmm. Is he stopping now? He's discouraged. Mm -hmm. So what would you like to tell him? Never stop. Okay. So no matter how many times they knock you down, keep getting up? Yes. Okay. Good. How does he deal with all the toxic issues that are going on in his family? He pleases. He pleases them? Yes. Mm -hmm. Does he need to? No. Mm -hmm. He feels like he has no other way. So what is another way for him to deal with them? Appreciate them. Mm -hmm. These people are, mm -hmm. and they don't think the same as you. Mm -hmm. Just because they don't think like you doesn't make them toxic. Mm -hmm. I see. So it's kind of like living with a dog and a cat. They're both totally different. Yes. But they still can cohabitate together. Right. Mm -hmm. What about his dad? Mm -hmm. Does he 
Do you have any advice to improve his relationship with him? Visit. Visit him. Okay. Very good. How can he connect with these same folks on a spiritual level? Be there. Hmm. Okay. Is Be he there. is he avoiding them? Yes, he is. Okay. Yes, he is. But if you're sitting around with family members that are not happy, right? How do you avoid being sucked down into that muck of depression and unhappiness? Leave. <laughs> okay. So you, he could visit, but if it gets nasty, just leave. Yes. Okay. Does he need to say anything, or he just has to leave? He's learning that he doesn't have to say anything. Okay. Just, I gotta go. He doesn't have to explain himself okay. anymore. So when it's ready for him to go, he just, so. I gotta go? Okay. So will that help? It helps with his frustration. Mm-hmm. It helps him clear his mind. Mm-hmm. It's a very clouded mind. Okay, and what is causing all that cloudiness? Confusion, mm -hmm. loss, fear, doubt. Is this coming from him or is it coming from an influence? It's coming from an influence. Mm -hmm. Where is this influence? His family. His family. Mm -hmm. Has that family been able to affect him? Have they sent any thought forms into him that are causing confusion? A lot. You really? A lot. Mm -hmm. A lot. Would it be beneficial for me to address these, or should we just take care of them all at one time? Address it. Mm -hmm. All right. Which one should I address first? Where is it? Heart. The heart. Let's find out who is residing in that heart. I'm going to bring that energy up, 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 up. Good morning, you can express yourself now. Are you male or female energy? I'm male. Male. Mm -hmm. And what can I call you? What name do you go by? Joe. Joe. Joe, what's the reason why you're there with Lottie? Protection. Protection. Did he ask for that protection? No. No. So what was the reason that you attached to him? I saw I needed to. Okay, how old was he? Very small. Mm -hmm. Like a young boy? Four. What were they doing to him at that time that he needed protection? Taking advantage of him. Mm -hmm. So, Joe, how old are you? I don't have an age. Mm -hmm. What year is it for you? I'm unaware of that. Okay. So, did you come to him to protect him, or are you actually harming him now? I'm harming him. In what way? I'm keeping him down. Keeping him down? And for what purpose are you keeping him down? What does that do for you? It keeps me in control. Oh, I see. So you feel like you need to control Lottie in yes. order to be happy? Yes. Are you unhappy? Yes, I am. Mm. Did you ever have a body before? Yes, I did. When was this? And what happened to you? How did you lose that body? Fear. Fear? Mm-hmm. What was happening at the time? I didn't care. Mm-hmm. You didn't care about life? Anything. Mm-hmm. Were you doing anything to cause your death? But no. No? Just fear. Just fear. And it consumed me. Mm-hmm. Did you die old or young? I could die older. Mm hmm But the fear. So, why is it that when your body died, why didn't you go to the light? What happened? I felt unworthy. You felt unworthy. Well, fear, I'd like to help you today. Mm. Would you like to feel less than that, fear? Yes. All right. I want you to focus in the center of your being. 
There's a white light. This is the light that created you. And focus on that light and start expanding it out until it fills you completely and beyond. And tell me how you feel with all of that light. How does that feel now? To be full of light. Feels weird. Mm. Weird in which way? not used to it. So let's keep spreading that light into you. Fill it more and more. How does it feel now? I feel lighter. Mm -hmm. Do you feel any fear in this light? No, I don't. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to feel more of that beautiful light? Yes, I am. Okay. So I'd like to ask my angels of the white light to surround you. And I'd like for you to pull all of that influence from inside of him. Pull it out. Give it to the angels. And now I'd like to ask Archangel Michael to take him by the hand and take him right out from the crown of his head and straight into the light. And tell me when you get there, what do you see? Mm, feel peace? Yes. Very good. Thank you very much. Now that you are no longer fear, what na what name can I give you? Joy. Joy. So joy, may the light of the universe accompany you always. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So I'd like Archangel Raphael to go ahead and spread that light of his into your chest, filling that space where this joyful being used to reside. Fill it out completely. And let me speak with your higher self again. Can you tell me how that's affected Lottie now? Feels better. Feels better. What was all this fear causing him? How was he reacting to life? Reactions. Fearful. Fearful reactions. Mm hmm Is this what was getting him mad all the time? Yes. Mm hmm So now without this fear in his heart, how do you see him in the future acting? Better. Better? Very good. Good. He wants to know about his past serious relationships in love. What does he need to know about it? They've always been abusive. Love yourself, okay? Does he need to keep dragging the past into his now? No. Okay. So can we go ahead and cut him loose from those past experiences, knowing that he doesn't have to drag around this heaviness with him anymore? Yes. All right, so just disconnect all of those experience from him, knowing that he needs to move ahead now. Can you tell him how he can be a better person for his daughter? Be there. Be there. Mm -hmm. Well, he was hoping to get an answer from you if he needs to work outside of California. California's home. Mm -hmm. He had an opportunity to leave. He didn't take it. Mm -hmm. He's had it. He's had several. So he should stay here, spend time with his daughter? Yes. Mm -hmm. What about his dreams of drawing and DJing and singing? He says he's afraid of success. Mm -hmm. Should he continue as an artist? Yes, he should. Mm -hmm. And he will. Mm -hmm. Can he be successful with this? He's had tremendous success. He has. Yes, he has. But he has. He doesn't seem to feel that he has had it. Very true. Mm -hmm. Is this fear that was in his heart part of that fear of success? 
Are there any other influences that are keeping him down? Fear. Mm-hmm. He reacts adversely out of fear. Mm-hmm. Is that coming from him, or was it coming from that other entity? Or did they work together? They work together. Mm-hmm. They definitely work together. Yes. So how can we get him to stop being in fear and feeding it? Be open. Be open. Mm -hmm. Be honest. Be honest. Will that work? Yes. Okay, good. Now when he gets successful, who's going to be there to help him? I will. Okay. What should she do when he needs your help? How can he communicate with you better? Silence. Silence. Mm -hmm. Quiet his mind. Appreciate the silence. Mm -hmm. Is there anything hindering him from having that silence? Does he have any jabber mouths in there talking? A lot. A lot. Mm -hmm. Can I get a clear sweep from these entities? Mm -hmm. All right. So if you don't mind, I'm going to ask for all of the angels that are here today. Angels of the white light, of the blue flame, and the warrior angels. I'm going to ask my entire Archangel team and those that Archangel Michael feel that could help in this session. I'd like for them to throw a big white net over this man and encapsulate all of those entities that have been influencing him. And go ahead and tighten that net around the wall. And as you do, I'd like for you to tell me what this looks like. What do you see? I see them a lot. Mm -hmm. What do they look like? They don't have a description. Mm. Are they light or dark? They're very dark. Very dark. Very chaotic and very, sporadic. Uh-huh. So I'd like for the entire team to start shooting their light into them and the higher self. If you would open up his heart and shoot that white light from inside of him onto these beings, we need to transform them today. Mm. And tell me what's happening as we're shooting that white light into them. Becoming easier. Mm hmm. Keep sending that light to them. The messages come clearer. Mm hmm. Tell me more. What are you receiving from them? No resistance. No resistance. Very good. Are we ready to take all of these entities away to the light now? Yes, we are. All right, so go ahead and let's scoop them all up. And I'd like Archangel Michael to direct them into the light. And also do a scan of this room to make sure that there's none waiting to take their places. Would you please check that? one waiting. All right, so let's call that one and let's get him going. Tell me what he looks like and what we can do to help him today. He's here. Mm-hmm. Small. Mm-hmm. Small like a child. Mm -hmm. Why does he, why is he there here with Lottie today? Does he want to be addressed? He has his doubts. Mm -hmm. Yes. Let's find out why he doesn't go, want to go with the other ones. Mm -hmm. Let me speak with him now. Take a deep breath in. 
and let me speak with this entity. Good morning. Good morning. What is the doubts that you have about going to the light? I don't want to. Mm -hmm. Tell me why. There's so much here for me. Mm -hmm. In what way? Dirty. It's dirty. Greed. Mm -hmm. And what you what do you do with all of this? Greed. I grow. Ah, I see. Because you're feeding off of it? Yes. Okay. I see. So you're one of these energies that feed off of fear and greed? Yes. Okay, I see. Did someone send you here to Lottie? Yes. Who sent you here? He sent me. He sent me. Who is he? Lottie. Vadi sent you? In what way? He made me. Oh, he created you. Well, Lottie's a very powerful being. We know that. And he was able to create you. What mm. thoughts was he thinking to create this being? Escape plan. Escape plan? What kind of escape plan? That sounds very interesting. Can you tell me more? They can always come back to me. Okay. So when things are 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 rough, he goes to the dark side. Oh. Mm. And what is it that you cause him to do? Lash out. You lash out at people. Yes. Mm hmm. Does it give him power? He thinks it does. Mm hmm. But it really doesn't, does it? Mm -hmm. It just feeds you. Mm. Mm. I get it. Mm -hmm. So he thinks he's getting power, but you're actually mm -hmm. being nourished. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I could find a way for you to be nourished even more. Mm -hmm. Would you want to know how? I am intrigued. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you are. You see, even though you've been created to feed off of him, you have something inside that can feed yourself with something totally different. You see, everyone has been created by the same thing, and that is the light. And inside of you, this light has been there all this time. And if you look inside of yourself, you'll see that light. And you'll notice something really interesting that as you expand that light inside of you, you begin to transform. Go ahead and start expanding that light and you'll see what I'm talking about. Feel it getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And as you do, it transforms you. It transforms you into one that does not need to siphon off energy off of anybody else because you have so much energy inside. There's no need for that. Tell me what you have transformed into now. Money. You transformed into money? Currency. Mm. Well, see, money is just energy. Mm-hmm. A credit card. Mm-hmm. Debit card. Okay. So it seems to me you haven't transformed enough. <clears throat> Keep bringing that light up. Send that light into every bit of your being. I want you to completely fill your entire being with white light. And tell me how it feels. It feels good. It feels real good. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have you feel even better. I'm going to ask the angels of the white light to throw a big white net over you so you can feel that light from inside and outside. And tell me what that beautiful white net feels like to have it surrounding you. 
Oh, it feels peaceful. Mm -hmm. Can you see now that you don't need to siphon any energy off of anybody else? Mm -hmm. You have that beautiful energy inside. So now that we're going to have the angels take you to the light so you can enjoy that beautiful feeling all the time, what would you like to tell Lottie about all of the things that you did to him? I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Lottie, what would you like to tell him back? It's okay. Mm -hmm. Is it okay for him to go to the light? Go to the light. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Very good. Are you ready to go now? You had some doubts before. Do you yeah. feel peaceful now? I do. Very good. So go ahead and take all of the influence that you have from Lottie's body. I want you to transform all of that with that white light that you have inside of you now. Spreading that white light from head to toe. Transforming all of that anger into love now, which is what you are full of. That peace and love. And as you do, I'm going to ask Archangel Michael to go ahead and take you directly to the light. And tell me how you feel once you're received by it. Peace. Peace. May the light of the universe accompany you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now let me speak with the higher self. Can you tell me how this exercise is now going to influence him? What Freedom, mm -hmm. peace of mind. Wonderful, wonderful. Oh, we, is his body clear of these entities now in the room? Yes. Very good, thank you. Mm -hmm. So now that we have that, would you do a body scan of him and see if he has anything that we need to pay attention to today, health-wise? Liver. His liver. What's going on with his liver? Mm. That's true. That's true. That's true. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going to touch your shoulder. And you'll open your eyes. And go ahead and take a break. Yeah. You were talking about the body scan and you were talking about the liver. Tell me about the liver. What's going on with it? It's nutrition. Nutrition. What does he need to eat? More plants? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. He wanted to know if it was okay to consume meat. Mm -hmm. Not all the time. Not all the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's happening when he eats this meat? It blocks hunger for plant plants and vegetables. Mm -hmm. So when he eats the meat, it doesn't allow him to want the plants. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So mm -hmm. if you eat more plants, you'll want more plants. Yes. Okay. But once you eat meat, yes, it keeps the desire. So the the vitamins are not getting you. Right. Okay. Good. Could you help him with that? Can you, on his behalf, I'd like to ask for guides that will help him in choices mm -hmm. when he's ready to eat something mm -hmm. to remind him. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. What else do you see in his body that needs tending to? What's going on with his feet? much work. Too much work on his feet? Yes. Mm -hmm. So he's doing too much walking. And Are his uh, shoes that he's wearing okay? He's got insoles. 
Okay. Is that helping him? It helps him a lot. Mm hmm. He's still. He's still abusing his body and particularly his feet. Mm -hmm. He's always walking, he's always doing something mm -hmm. on his feet. Do you recommend any pampering of his feet? Yes. Mm hmm. Stay off of them. Stay off of them. Any pedicures, anything like that? Yes. Mm-hmm. Well, people will actually massage his feet and... He needs that more. Okay. S some time for himself to... Yeah. ...to take care of his feet. Good. Mm -hmm. Very good. What's going on with the lesions on his skin? What caused that? Stress. Mm-hmm. It seems to be healing now. Mm -hmm. How can we heal it even better? Maintenance. Taking Maintenance. care of the body. Taking care of the body, so better nutrition. Yes. Better on his feet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, more fun. More fun. Okay. More fun. So kind of like that fun friend that he had in that lifetime. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And since he's had all these entities removed from him, I think that it'd probably be easier now, wouldn't it? Yeah. Okay, good. Good. Yeah. Can I ask uh, for assistance today from the non-physical physicians to start working on his body? Yeah. Thank you. Would you tell him if it's okay to smoke cannabis? It's okay. Mm -hmm. It helps him. It helps him. Okay, good. Any, any other... Um, suggestions for him today. Love. L love. Mm -hmm. Love himself. Okay. Love everything that he does. Love everything that he does. He's not comfortable with admitting his lifestyles, choices. Mm -hmm. And to be more open and expressing what he loves to do, even if it seems not right or illegal. Mm -hmm. Or just, in another word, dad. Mm -hmm. Should he spend more time DJing and singing? He does that. Mm -hmm. He does that. But don't feel guilty about it, just do it. Do it. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about what other people are telling him. Yeah. Okay, good. Is there anything else that we need to address today? Or do you feel that we're complete with this session? Mother? Mm hmm. What's going on? Oh, mother's sad. Hmm? Mother is sad. Okay. So, what, we can, what can we do to help her? Love her. Mm hmm. Unconditionally. No judgment. No judgment. Okay. Will that help? Yes. Thank you. What is the reason that you brought Lottie here today? Peace. Peace. Do you think he's stepping out of this room with it today? Yes. Very good. Thank you so much for bringing him here. Do you have a final message for him? I'm always with you. Will he be able to hear you clearer now? Yes. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank you so much for bringing him here and for the help you've given him today. I know he's really going to appreciate it. I'd also like to thank all of the angels, non-physical physicians, and all of the ascended masters that I've called in to help. I know that he is going to get great help from them. Wide awake, feeling wonderful all over. That was nice. How do you feel? I feel good. Mm -hmm. A lot better than when you came in? Yeah. You feel lighter? 
You got a, peop- a lot of entities doing a tap dance on you, huh? <laughs> Especially the last one. Last one. A little tough. I saw. Mm. I... What do you look like? I want to say like a little gremlin child. Yes. Uh huh. Yeah. Not nice. He was feeding off of you. Like a little troll type of thing. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh-huh. And I, I felt like where he was. What was he? He was over there. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. there. Like in, like, mm-hmm. <laughs> I felt myself turning to that area. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Always around you, sucking your energy, making you angry so that he can get his nourishment. That's how they feed off of us. When you allow yourself to get angry and frustrated and mad, that's their food. So they do it so that they can be fed. It's like a parasite. Yeah. Called louche. It's got a name for it. Like Lucius, no, Lucy, could be, but it's it's the <laughs> yeah it's it's the way that they get fed is is through your anger and yeah. fear. Mm-hmm. That's why they do really nasty things to people because that fear feeds them. So you don't need to be fed off of anymore. You need to be at peace. So what do you think now that you've had this session? Worth it? How long do you feel that you were on this journey? Under hypnosis? Yeah. Like this? Mm-hmm. About an hour? Mm, an hour and 44 minutes right now. Wow. Interesting. And your bladder was... Going. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> but it seemed like every time you went, it made you go deeper. I felt that. Yeah. So it was a way to calm you down, too. I felt that. Mm-hmm. It was your higher self saying, no, nope, not deep enough. Go to get him in the bathroom. <laughs> Let's do this again. <laughs> Let's oh, get him deeper man. each time. That, it, Pretty wild. Yes. So now you know you can connect with your higher self at any time. Pretty cool, huh? You want to share this experience? You want to keep it private? Share it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Why not? <laughs> I thought little, could help somebody else, man. That little gremlin part was a little interesting. Yeah, that was very interesting. Uh-huh. Did you think it was going to go that way? No, I didn't. <laughs> no, I didn't. That was very interesting. Yeah, good. Well, let me disconnect you and we can say goodbye, okay? Right. okay. So here we are in Los Angeles, and we just had a really interesting yeah, we did. session. So very tell everybody, what was the reason you came here today? Um, more inner peace. Mm-hmm. Um, just upset, like you know, not happy where my my life is going. I guess you know. Yeah. Trying to get more clarity. Yeah. Definitely. So, what did you get out of the session? Um, peace of mind. <laughs> in in other words, in the layman's the smallest layman's term, I could come up with is peace yeah. of mind. Yeah. It's definitely. Yeah. It's so we had an experience. We had a lot of entities. We had a lot of attachments to you. How did it feel when they were released? I felt so heavy. Now it just it feels like nothing. It feels like I'm just normal, I guess. What <laughs> that means. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Feels good? Light. Like, just light. 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 So what would you like to tell everybody about this experience? Do you think that this is something that is what was worthwhile for you? Definitely. Mm -hmm. 110%. And and how did you prepare for it? How did I prepare for it? Mm -hmm. Um, A lot of meditation, Mm -hmm. music. Yeah. I was a nervous wreck the night before, so I had to really dig deep in my uh, relaxation techniques. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. And it helped you? A lot. And you didn't want to drink any water. No, I didn't. (laughs) He said, not one drop of water, Mm -hmm. and look what happened. Yeah. Like, I, no, I did not drink any water. Okay, watermelon I had last night, and that was the only watermelon and, I had. And look what happened. 
literally about five, six times at a restaurant. So it doesn't matter if you drink water or not. Mm -hmm. If your higher self wants to get you in the bathroom, yeah. it will, because it seemed that, well, every time you go in and out of hypnosis, you go deeper. Okay. So yeah. every time you went to the bathroom and came back, mm -hmm. you went even deeper. Mm -hmm. So it was like your higher self's way of calming you That's down. That's very interesting. You know, every time you finished a life, it was like, okay, we don't, break. We don't have any control. <laughs> <laughs> I think you have control. Hey, don't drink water. <laughs> but yeah. you, can, you can drink water. Of I mean, course, the, yeah. Water is, connects you. Some right. people drink a lot of water and they don't get up at all. It's, it's just, mm -hmm. it depends on the person. Very interesting. So uh, if you would like a session with me, uh, I am based out of Miami, but I also travel. But you can go to my website, albaweinman.com. Mm -hmm. You can book a session. It's very easy. You put your deposit down. Mm -hmm. And if you are not in Miami, there's an out-of-town schedule. I do send out a, net, uh, a newsletter telling people where I'll be visiting next, mm -hmm. which I did here in Los Angeles. And once I send the newsletter out, I open the calendar, and you can book it there. They book very quickly. Yes, so mm -hmm. be fast. Be fast. Right. Yes. Same day. Same, same day. Same hour. Same, like, as soon as you see Literally, it, 30 it. minutes. Yeah. Yep. It's like a lottery. There's only a certain mm. amount. So anyway, um, I hope to see you soon, okay? So if I'm sitting near you, I hope to see you there, okay? Well, bye. Bye. Thank you. Yeah, hug, hug, hug. Okay. Oh. Thank you. Oh, it's good.